All right, you guys, in this video, I want to talk about um, setting up a dedicated email server for your agency. Now, you used to have to have Mailgun to actually do this, but recently Go High Level has now integrated it directly into their system. So if you're in your dashboard, if you go under settings, it's going to be right under email services. And what you're going to do <clears throat> is you want to connect lead connector, right? Now, the one thing that does take a little bit of a process is setting up a dedicated domain. Now, what I've done underneath this video, you guys, there's a link to a walkthrough from Sean of Go High Level that, it, that shows you exactly step by step how to do it. But I kind of wanted to do it with you guys as well. So basically what you do is go ahead and click on dedicated domain. Yours is going to be blank. You're going to click this blue add domain button. Okay, and what you're doing is you're going to set up a subdomain as a dedicated sender uh, of your agency. So you can you can do this on your um, domain with your hosting. All you're going to do is you're going to add something in the front of it that represents the subdomain for just your mail. Now, I use MG because I used to use Mailgun, so I'm just going to use that as well for, do for my domain. And so what you want to do is go ahead and type out, uh, in fact, just for, just for this example purposes, put mg.yourdomain.com, okay? And whatever domain that it was that you purchased for your business, um, and then we're going to set that up, okay? So what's going to happen is you're going to click on verify, and this information is going to pop up. It's going to say not verified yet, which is fine because these are the records that you need to put in your DNS for your hosting account. Okay, so I do all of my domain buys through Namecheap. Um, doesn't matter if you're through GoDaddy. You need a domain and you need hosting, okay? So if you guys are brand new to internet world, um, I mean, most of you should know this by now, but um, your domain does not mean that anything's active on it. It has to have some sort of hosting account for that domain to actually work. So once you have a hosting account, you can log into what's called your cPanel. Okay, so inside your cPanel, now, again, um, yeah, we can walk through that. If you guys need help with that, reach out to me and I'll, I'll go into further explanation or just Google how to set up a domain and hosting and it, it'll it, it do a walkthrough. But hopefully you guys um, don't necessarily need that, but Basically, what you want to do is log into your um, cPanel, and then you're going to go to Zone Editor, right? And you're going to click on Manage. So you want to manage that domain. And then essentially what you want to do is you want to add that record. So you're going to go back and forth between these two screens. So first of all, you're going to add a TXT record with this host name and this value. So you just come in here. You click on add record, okay? You've got your MG at appointment setter or yourdomain.com, okay? This is gonna be a TXT record as it stated right here on this document. And then you're gonna add the value, okay? And save record. All right, you got a green success there. We're gonna come back over here. We're adding another TXT record with this value. So go ahead, add record. This is going to be a TXT record, and we're going to add this bit of code right here. Okay. You're going to come back over. This one's going to be a CNAME record. So we're going to add a record. This is going to be a CNAME. Paste that value. Come back over. Copy this, and that's going to go into your record. Click Save. We're gonna add another one. It's gonna be an MX record. So copy this piece. And you can take note that that says priority 10. Um, so add, we've got this. This is a MX record with this value. So we're gonna change this to MX. We're gonna add in the destination and the integer is the 10. So just make sure that that doesn't copy weird with that big old space right there. So, um, but it should all match MX 10, this, and then MX there and go ahead and save record. And then we've got this final one where it's MX 10, 
this and this. So it looks like MXB is the difference on this one. So we're gonna add a record. It's gonna be an MX record. The destination is MXB, integer 10 again. And this zone right here was the same as the last one. And save record. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to click this verify domain button right here, and we should get a verified. Okay, this one didn't verify, so let's check this one more time. Text record, MG, let's copy this. So let's go back and take a look at this. It's right here. All right, MG. TXT, let's just double check that. TXT 1200, priority TXT, not verified. MG at appointment setter pro.com 1200 TXT. All right, let's save that. And then let's try to verify this one more time. All right, let's see, let's go back to this. All right, so that time that verified, but the other ones didn't. So let's just give it a second because it might just be that it takes a moment to propagate. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. All right, those two are good. So we're just waiting for these two. And I know that we put them all in because the other one's verified. So it might just take a second. Let's double check. All right, now all of that is verified. What Go High Level is going to do at that point is it's going to pull all that, that information into your GHL account. And my biggest suggestion here is at least for the first two weeks of your agency, don't, don't start blasting out emails. Like start just kind of sending stuff slowly. Um, always kind of warm up an account. Anytime that you're brand new, you want to definitely take time to warm that email account. Um, verify the domain to get current status. So let's check that. Those are all good. Cool. So yeah, that's gonna, there we go, SSL issued, boom. Okay, now I have a dedicated email server for my agency. And that's the best part about this now is you don't need Mailgun, you don't need Twilio, everything's directly in Go High Level um, or Deal Closer Pro, which is our white labeled version as you guys know. <clears throat> but ultimately um, now, you can send emails. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for email setup. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.